Hi there, Michael from Fujifilm North America. Allow me to discuss image capture formats with you for a few minutes. This here is a 35 millimeter film SLR from about 40, 45 years ago. This is a Fujifilm GFX 50R digital camera. This is a Fujifilm GFX 100 digital camera. Okay, so since the very beginning of photography, all kinds of different media were used to try to capture and fix the uh, still image. And not only with the different types, but they came in different shapes and sizes. Uh, so the most prevalent uh, format for the longest time and still being used today were sheet films. Uh, they went in about the sizes of like eight by 10 inch, four by five inch, five by seven inch, and some even larger. Now, interesting note, when the 35 millimeter film format was introduced into the market about 100 years ago, it was actually called miniature by many pro photographers who felt it was inferior to the sheet film sizes and the roll film sizes that they had gotten used to that were about six centimeters wide and went by the names of like 120, 220, 127. Now, because those sizes fell in between 35 millimeter and sheet film, they were called medium format. However, in today's world, we don't have access to four by five inch and eight by 10 inch size digital sensors. So that means that basically anything bigger than 35 millimeter film size is large. However, because photographers for so long uh, have been using cameras of this size, uh, with a particular set of focal lengths and angles of view, um, they also call the digital cameras in this range medium. So you can call these medium format or large format. You'll hear them both. So the sensor size on the GFX system is uh, basically 33 millimeters by 44 millimeters with a, uh, an image circle of 55 millimeters diagonal. Okay. That makes the surface area of the GFX sensor 70% or roughly 70% larger than 35 millimeter full frame. So what do you do with all that space? Well, first of all, of course, you can put a lot more pixels into that, right? But also you can put in bigger and better pixels. So let's explore how that comes to fruition. So I've come out here into the wild because I'm tracking down some elusive wildlife. Yeah, butterflies. So they're a fascinating subject because of course they are beautiful and there's so many varieties, but they're completely unpredictable and totally erratic, right? So that makes them a really interesting photographic challenge. My tool of choice is the GFX 100. Now why? Okay, it's a large format camera and you say to yourself, well, those things are slow. Aha, yeah, most of them are, but not the GFX 100. So it shoots five frames a second. All right, you say that's boring. My X-T3, my X-T4 will shoot 30 frames a second. True, but this is 102 megapixels. The raw files are around 210 megabytes. So five frames a second at 210 megabytes a pop is screamingly quick. So now, why would I need the 102 megapixels? Well, because the butterflies have all these cool architecture on their heads with the antenna and the legs and their eyes, not to mention the really delicate powdery patterns that are on their wings. And I want to hold every little bit of that detail. And not only that, but because they're erratic and they may suddenly take off in some direction that I can't follow, gives me room to crop and manipulate and reframe the picture without losing much sharpness. Next, the autofocus. Well, you've heard large format cameras are slow on that as well. Nope. This thing has corner to corner coverage on the sensor of phase detect autofocus pixels. So the autofocus is very responsive on this camera. Also, dynamic range. Obviously, we are outdoors. That's where butterflies live. So it could be cloudy or sunny. It could be changing conditions from minute to minute. Um, and I want as much dynamic range as possible because I want to hold the delicacy in those wings. All right. And the GFX 100 has 14 stops of dynamic range. 
So that gives me plenty of room to hold in the raw files if I need to manipulate, but most of the time I just shoot the JPEG and I know that the camera is going to hold all the values that I need. So a quick comparison in sizes between the formats. The 35mm full frame film camera, the 50R from Fujifilm, pretty much the same size, okay? Yet remember, this is a 51.5 megapixel camera. The GFX100 is a 102 megapixel camera without having to get a lot more bulk for all that real estate. So go to your nearest camera dealer and check out the Fujifilm GFX system.